This is Nathan, and I am going to show you guys a few Photoshop tutorials, and this is going to be one of them. So, uh, we are just going to make a simple Web 2.0 type uh, logo sort of thing, and uh, I'm just gonna, it's not gonna take long, but um, I'm just gonna show you guys the site. We have got 41 users since. Uh, well, we've just got 41 users, so that's a good thing. We've got tons of tutorials up here. We've got a Blender teleportation tutorial on the site. It's not on YouTube. It's not anywhere but here. We've got a how to use cloth cloth effects for a light wave, and we've also got a Blender slow mo script. We've got all the FPS tutorials. And we've got a few other ones, so uh, check that out. We've got our uh, forum. A lot of people are asking a lot of questions, and that's really good. And we usually, uh, uh, we all, the whole team is checking the forum a lot. So uh, usually you can get your answers, your questions answered within the hour. So uh, that's another good thing. So uh, let's uh, get started. So. I'm just gonna go. I'm opening Photoshop. I'm gonna go to Control. Alright, Control New. Oops. And it doesn't matter the size. And I am going to go into text. I have this Planet Cosmos font. And uh, it's not a default font, but I will uh, put a link to download it. It's really cool. You just put it in your fonts folder, and it shows. It'll show up there. So I am just gonna type my text, and I am known as Sage Dread. So I'm just gonna put that in there. As Sage Dread. And it doesn't matter your colors. It doesn't matter at all. So I've got that. I'm going to. Oops. I'm going to right click on the layer, and go to Rasterize Type. And now I'm going to double click on the right side of that layer. And it's going to bring up the layer styles dialog. So I am going to go to, not, not, go to stroke. I'm going to set the color to white. And I'm going to leave the pixels at 3. And there we go. I'm going to go to gradient. And I'm going to go to foreground to background. And this is going to give it this really good uh, coloring. I, you can change the foreground to background here by uh, you go right here. You can change it. That's the foreground. The background is right there. I just changed it to uh, blue and white. So I've got that. Now we are going to duplicate our layer. So we've got one on top, one on bottom. And I'm going to get the eraser tool and make sure it's in block mode. And I'm going to go to the very center of the of the um, the text. Make sure the top one is selected. And we're going to hold shift and drag right. And then it's going to delete that. Delete some of it at least. We want to make sure we get all of it. So we're going to uh, make the first layer invisible. And now we can see exactly what we just missed. So we're going to delete all of that, or erase it. So now we've got these two layers. And <clears throat> we are going to hold control and click on this little part right here on the top layer. And now we're going to go to select, modify, contract. We're going to go one pixel. Now we're going to use the gradient tool, and I am going to s go and do foreground to transparent. But right now I need to switch my foreground color, so I'm going to click on this button right here, or just press X. So there we go. So now we can do that and make sure the transparency is just about 50 percent I'm going to make sure this is an overlay mode 
and now I'm just going to hold shift and drag down and use that eraser tool so or the gradient tool so I'm just gonna do that a few times so it makes it a bit darker now I'm just going to uh, go to the le select the layer and put it on overlay okay and now we've got a, it's a little bit more web 2.0 stylish so we're gonna even do a little bit more we're going to double click on the top layer gonna go into the gradient and we're just going to make the scale a little bit down not too much and we're gonna set the blend mode to and uh, convert to a smart object and it's going to turn a little bit of a different color and we can go back to normal mode if you want it to the other color it really doesn't matter and then now we're gonna rasterize it so now we are going to do the same thing with the that we just did with the um, with the gradient tool we're, gonna, we're just gonna do that uh, one more time. That's what I'm gonna do, and it's gonna show up even lighter. So now it, we've got this nice Web 2.0 style, and now we can make it even more Web 2.0ish. So we're gonna hold Shift and click on both layers. We're gonna go to Merge Layer, and now we're gonna right the double click on it and go to Inner Glow. I'm going to set mine to white and make the size just a bit I putting it to 20 pixels and make I'm gonna make the technique precise or no never mind. and there we go so I'm gonna you can experiment with all the different settings you can put it to overlay pin light, hard light, so pin light actually looks pretty good, so I'm going to do that, and now we can add a drop shadow to it, make it look even better, and uh, there we have it, so we've got our web 2.0 little text logo, and uh, thanks for watching.